I'm here with Luca Duplano, who is the VP of Brand Communication at Shangri-La. Uh, and you gave a very interesting talk last night, which was about being an introvert in this world that has just become highly focused on extroverts. First of all, introvert versus extrovert. Uh, is it a choice? Is it the way people are? I think it's a personality trait. Uh, so uh, people are a certain degree of introversion and certain degree of extroversion. We're never purely 100% on one side or the other. So it's really about understanding where you are in that, uh, in that uh, range and then uh, put yourself in an environment that best fit uh, that. But the thrust of where things are going in many ways is towards the extrovert side, is it not? Very much so. I mean, um, um, a number of uh, elements of the extrovert personality are highly appreciated in the workplace. The ability to talk in front of people, be comfortable with larger group, uh, uh, being able to think on, on your feet and, and the always dread uh, uh, brainstorming session where you're supposed to be uh, um, in front of other people expressing your opinion. Now, introverts works, uh, um, uh, works better in quieter, quieter environment one-to-one -one communication, uh, smaller meetings, where they have more space to think before they talk, uh, um, where they have more space to um, analyze things. Introverts like to analyze before they, uh, before they express themselves. Uh, and I, I, there is a great definition of introverts versus extroversion. Uh, an extrovert is somebody who gets energy out of a larger group. So you see an extrovert going to a party and you can see that it builds up energy all the way. An introvert use energy when they go into a party. So after a while, depending on how much energy you have saved, that energy runs out. And that's when you have to leave the party for the bathroom break or the cigarette break, recharge your battery, and then go back to the social uh, interaction. Okay, which is an interesting element you're bringing up, which is strategies for introverts to work in this extrovert world. What are the key ones that you would highlight? Uh, very much, uh, I think that um, organization needs to understand that introverts brings a lot of value. Yeah, sure. What is uh, the value? For example, th for example, they are uh, risk uh, uh, cautious. They don't go into things on the spur of the moment. They will methodically they, they consider. methodically consider a number of opportunity and usually they consider what can go wrong more than what can be uh, can go right. So the ideal setup is not introverts versus extrovert. It's the right mix. Um, there for, is for a given team you want to For have a given a, yeah. team. In fact there is research that says that the best teams are um, are a mix of the two. So if you have a team of introverts, for example engineers, you want to have an extrovert that uh, energize them and push them to go beyond. If you have a team of uh, investment bankers or traders, you probably want to have an introvert that pull back and slow down things. Don't do the deal! Don't do the deal. <laughs> it's like, we, we're not going to bet our shirt on this. Uh, that type of things. Excellent. Uh, and the big irony of this, of course, is you gave a great talk to a whole bunch of people about being an introvert. Uh, and you're doing a camera pr presentation here, yet you consider yourself an introvert. Very much so, very much so. But again... So I hope we're, you know, if you need to take a cigarette break or anything during this video... I, I probably know. have another 30 seconds <laughs> and uh, my battery will run out. Uh, but the point is, you can learn to be both. Uh, if you're an extrovert and you have a little bit of empathy and you realize you're talking with the uh, introverts, don't automatically assume, oh, this guy is shy or has nothing to say. Just put him in the right situation for him to express him at his own pace. On the other hand, if you're an introvert, there is a great way of, uh, you know, acting classes or a speaking engagement that force you to learn the skills. So they became skills. It's like my, play, my tennis uh, playing skills, right? And you deploy them when you need it. But fundamentally, the core remain on one side or the other. So your top tip for an introvert is what? acting lessons or actually acting lessons are great uh, because they teach you how to express uh, in different ways and you learn that again there is not only one way there's many different ways you can have many different hats so uh, it, it teaches you to stand up in front of other people it teaches you to think a little bit quicker impro are great uh, great tools for an introvert because again they give you the skill to express what you have in your mind but you're not fast enough to put in words especially when you are in an in a, in a extrovert uh, meeting. 
But again, company need to realize that also working setup is important. Um, I think in the last 10 years, I was reading the US, the space in an office has shrunk by 60%. Which is terror, introverts will feel they will feel, claustrophobic. yes, claustrophobic and the noise and the stimulating environment is not conducive, conductive of, uh, of deep thinking, of reflection. Um, so working environment needs to be organized for both groups. Have, by all means, have the open space if you think that encourage collaboration. But also have rooms, completely quiet room where you, don't, you cannot use the mobile, you cannot interact, you cannot talk. So if you feel that you need to recharge your battery, you have a place beside the toilet, as I, as, I, as I showed you yesterday. You have a place where you can take an hour of your day just to um, recharge your battery. Okay, so Luca Di Plano on the power of introverts and how introverts can thrive in the world of extroverts and also an explanation about why the introverts should be given the corner offices with big nice views and quiet. Correct. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>